Hello and welcome. Trevor with ProLass Holder here. Today I'm bringing you a board, a main board out of uh, Emerson Flat Screen TV. Uh, now this came to us uh, when it power on. Um, I actually just got my multimeter today, my new multimeter, um, and it's already paid itself off. You know, I just basically, no schematics, no anything. Um, I just went short hunting and it actually literally took me probably five minutes to find a short. The scopes, you guys can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, quality equipment definitely is needed for this, this work. So I, I don't know if I would have found this without it. My last multimeter actually couldn't detect shorts. It, for some reason, it, it thought everything was short of the ground. If anything was on a ground line that I was testing on that line, it would beep at me. So I got a new multimeter and fixed that issue. Right here. So I tested around the board. Um, nothing looked bad. I already looked at it. Uh, I've actually replaced the cap back um, so I could actually make this video. It looks bad now, but it didn't when I, when I before I took it off. Everything look, looks really good. So we had uh, just three caps that were uh, with one of them shorted to ground. When I came through here with my test and I just put one of the probes on, on any ground spot. And then uh, I just started going around. I tested the whole board, and I got to these three. I don't know if the camera's picking up the beep or not, but beeping on that side, on that side, on that side, that side, that side. I didn't have uh, any beeping anywhere else throughout the board. I went through the whole board. Like I said, it only took me about five minutes. I mean, this is a brute force uh, way to do it. And can take a long time uh, for this board. It, it didn't. There's, there wasn't a lot to test. So after that, I basically played the guessing game, and I got it right on my first try. Uh, so I just pulled this cap off using my hot tweezers. Minimize the damage. Now let's go back and, and do this again. See if we we get any beeping on these other caps. So there's ground, there's the line, silent. There's ground, line, silent. Ground, line, silent. Now let's go over here and we're gonna plug this into the TV so you can see it actually turn on. Here Abel, do you wanna throw this in the TV? Turn it on. This is uh, Abel, he's another one of our, our techs here. He's uh, extremely good at his job. I, I'm actually probably going to lose him though. He wants to be a police officer and he's trying to get a job at a prison right now to help him become a police officer. So he's just installing it right now on the back of the TV. It's a little easier when it's flat. <laughs> now when this first came in, um, I believe this is uh, what they call power supply. Yes, I'll just hold this one right here. Yeah. This was buzzing right here, which I thought that would be the problem, but it wasn't. Uh, we took out the, the main board. You got it plugged in? Yeah. Took out the main board, the buzzing stopped, so we went ahead and started searching on the main board for the short. And now let's see what we got. No. Yeah, plugged in right. Technical difficulties. No. Still. Nothing still. Is there enough one? What's that cable right there? That one on the bottom. That's not plugged in. So you gotta get everything plugged in so it can work for you. I 
Right. You ready? Don't shock yourself. Hmm. There it goes. There, you go. there we go. Just like that, removing you know one single short, and uh, now the TV is powered back on and working as normal. Uh, we can replace that cap. Just leaving one out. Brown aren't the system. Uh, those other two will will blow if there's any type of search. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching.